Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. This video, I want to give you a sneak peek of a new addition to the social sharing features. So in InDesign, I'm just going to go up to N5 and choose Export. I'll go to the Analytics and Sharing section. And you can see down here, there's now a social share image field. Here I can browse for a file that I've created, an image file. If I leave this blank, it's automatically going to generate an image from the first page in the document for me. Uh, as long as I have one of these sharing options checked. Another thing I want to make note of, I've added a custom URL here, and that's because I found that Twitter is really finicky about this. You don't absolutely have to know the URL. If you don't, N5 will use JavaScript to dynamically fill in the field that Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn are looking at. And when I was testing this, I figured out that Twitter doesn't really let the code run with the JavaScript, whereas Facebook and LinkedIn do. So in order to make the image show up for Twitter, I've put that in here. Just want to make note of that. The other thing I want to note is I've added a description in the SEO that will appear on Twitter and Facebook. And within the basic section, we can set the title that will show up in the social sharing as well. In the browser, I'm in my local file. And if you've ever tried this before, you're gonna see it doesn't work because all of these need a, an online URL. So Twitter kind of lets you get away with it, but you can see the, the URL starts with file. That means this is a file on my local computer. It's not on the internet. So if I try and share this, nobody else is gonna see it. All right, we don't wanna do that. Uh, Facebook and LinkedIn will give you uh, more serious messages. So it's telling me this is not a valid URL which is what we'd expect when we're on the local file system. So I posted this online. Here's my online version. Now, if I go to share this on any one of these, should see something a little better. What I've noticed in my testing is that Twitter is super finicky. It's really aggressive with caching. So for some reason, the image isn't showing up here, but you can see the title and the description that I put in. So let's take a look at Facebook. There is my image, title, and description. And let's take a look at LinkedIn. Okay, I've got my image and my name. So that is a pretty nice addition. I want to show you three tools that are really useful. Uh, each one of these has a, a validator or debugger for these. So you just put a URL in here. As I said, Twitter is really aggressive at caching. So what I had to do as I was testing and testing, I would add index.html to this and then a question mark and then I might say you know test equals one and then as I would test it again I would say test equals two that would force Twitter to run this from an uncached version when I hit preview it shows me the card so this is what it should be looking like in Twitter Twitter's own validator tells me it should be looking like this so you can see you might deal with some really finicky stuff with Twitter I did get some errors down here initially they eventually went away, but it didn't seem to be connected to what I was doing on my server. And I think that was the delay in Twitter's caching. So just be aware of that when you're working on this. And then here on Facebook, um, same thing. It's a, it, I put in the URL. It shows me what it's supposed to look like. Um, sometimes there are, you know, there are warnings about an app ID. Uh, you don't need to do anything about that. That's for a different purpose. And same thing here, LinkedIn has this. So for any of these, you could just type in the name of it, for example, Facebook social sharing debugger or something like that. These are generally pretty easy to find. So hopefully that is a helpful addition to your digital magazines and your projects within five to make the sharing experience much nicer. Be on the lookout for that new feature.